Oh, this isn't gonna go well. Oh, I know. Oh, God. That's what I said to, um... Uh, the dude I'm doing the DDD race with. He's like, do we need a commentator? And I'm like, no. So <laughs> what? We balloon, we meme, we make a joke, the run ends. Alright, we are, we are live. There's like nothing in between. We're live. When do I, uh... When do, when do I start? When do I start? <laughs> Start when you hear go. Okay, okay. All right, uh, we're live, right? Yeah, we're live. Okay. So I'm Cage Fan. This is this is Rebel Dragon. No, uh, this is this is gonna be Terror Beginner. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll just start. Three, two, one, go. Oh God, I've got a ton of delay. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, well this is uh this is orbs. Rebel, Rebel can explain this. Hello. Uh right, uh all this Terrorist probably got a the in his second period of their combo like smash you around. But that can also send them that can also send them flying like far away from each other. That was really fast. Oh my god, then like when yeah. it ended. A bunch of them that went into each other. That was all Ven, by the way. <laughs> usually, the, usually the computers are incredibly good at just not hitting stuff in the right direction or like doing what what like you you want them to or, or anything. Okay, and now I'm gonna go to the first world, Enchanted Dominion, and the first thing I'm gonna do in this force fight is I'm gonna be using a D Link. And I want to get a drop, like, as soon as possible, to speed up the fight. To try and get it? Yeah, it's it, uh, really good that he's going to have to kill some enemies to try and get it. Uh, can you turn Rebel up, please? Uh, yeah, Better than not getting it. Yeah. Well, because otherwise you've got to kill some scrappers on the bridge, and yeah. that's annoying. I had to kill something though, because I don't have enough healing. I mean, kill a thorn bite for the um, fleeting chance. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's time for Blizzard, uh, blizzard chest to get. Yeah. Everyone else picks up that chest in case you want to Pretty much. I'm gonna be pick picking up these two chests. One of them is zero gravity, and the other one is ether. The ether is just for safety, because I need it for a strat later, just in case I don't get a drop. Yeah, and it's extremely uncommon to not get any ether this run. Yeah, but I'd rather be safe. Yeah. And generally, you don't have enough money to buy one. Oh yeah, <laughs> the, my my money route is very tight. Yeah. If I don't if I don't get any command drops, I have to pick up extra stuff, or else I will lose like 30 seconds to having to grind for some money. And uh, as you can see, I'm, sometimes I'm just using sliding dash because it's actually faster. And if you hit an enemy while you use the sliding dash, it cancels the ending animation of it, which is even faster. 
Yeah, because the whole idea is slide dash is like meant to be the the start of a combo. So rather than just have it in, you having to wait the game with oh you're always but you can have but you in in terms of doing an attack you can um, at the start of World Master, K Train actually does a kind of specific thing where he steps forward and it like, sort of manipulates his attack pattern. Where like he can somewhat control what he does. The second oh that was really fast. Yeah, actually. that was basically perfect. Yeah. That was a really good fight. Um because he um hit K Train with the charge, he can He'll either jump up in the air or, or do the spin attack. If he does the spin attack, it's perfect. If like, he jumps, yeah. you just lose a bit of time. And there's not much that you can do about it. Here I'm going to do the first menu of the game. I'm going to be equipping the zero gravity that I picked up earlier. So I can use it in a couple fights in the next world. And then I'm just going to switch the camera just because I like it switched. Apparently I'm too... I'll turn myself up on my own mic. Give me a second. Because okay. um, I, right, yeah, I, I turned you up. Yeah. Okay. Is that better? I'm at 100 on my settings now. Yeah, you're really loud in my ears. So. <laughs> okay, no, this is another fight I want to get a drop as fast as possible. Yeah. You want to get an aqua drop? It's not the end of the world if you don't get it. It's not like the Ven drop. Yeah. But it's, it, it is just faster to get it now rather than later. So we'd rather have it now. Uh, he tries to position that um that finish command, so he hits as, as, as many of the enemies as, as he can. And from here on, it's just kind of hit, hit stuff. If you get a drop, um, you can use Magnera right here, but it doesn't look like you got a drop. Yeah, I didn't get a drop. Yeah. It's not that bad to not get a drop there. Yeah, I just have to get it later. And then, this is the Cinderella score. This is one of like the more RNG based things, like fights in the early game. Because, depending on what the enemies do, they can get in the way of Cinderella and stop her from moving. And like that fl flood on the ground, it's stopping her from moving right now. Uh, cast is just a 2 day. uh, you're gonna have to turn down the game volume a bit in a minute. Okay. Still a bit too loud. Oh wow, I did not know that. Um, a lot of people actually do, um, uh, Diamond Dust strat here. Cage Fan, I think Sonic as well does critical impact just because it's slightly faster and you don't have to pick up the, the um, Blizzard chest. Yeah, it's a lot easier for me to do it like this. Yeah. yeah, like I prefer diamond dust traps, but that's just because I'm better at them than I am at this one. So I just do that instead. Oh, I love it when they shield you, dude. Okay, hopefully you can hear Rebel now. Oh yeah, you, oh yeah, you had a bit of time at the end there to actually do it. Um, the second half he's gonna Sonic Shadow and he's gonna try and kill two of them because there are enemies that he wants to spawn to make sure that his um, EXP's alright. We didn't use, uh, we didn't actually use to spawn these, we, we now do it just just for the feeding chance off of these guys and to make sure we get um enough exp yeah uh level six earlier than we used to it basically means we don't have to kill a, a lot longer to kill than other ones in dwarf woodlands uh the reason why he looked behind himself for the stairs is because um um well, nice wellspring that's perfect <laughs> nice. Um, the whole reason why he looked down the stairs when Cinderella was walking up is because um, she can go two different directions. Um, if she... Uh, it, it doesn't really matter which path she takes. You just have to make sure that nothing's in her way when 
she gets to the top of the stairs because otherwise she walks and it takes like 20 seconds and it's, ri it's just ridiculous. Oh, are you going to go for Swag Dash? Uh, I can't because I used that Slide Dash right there. Man. That's faster. But Swag Dash. I'm sorry. Okay, this is me, yeah. Dude. This is Symphony Master. Just gonna be using the Ventus dealing again. This fight's like twenty seconds long. Yeah. <laughs> this is, fight is so quick. By the time I even start talking about it, it'll be over. Like you, you just uh, spam some combos and he's dead. What happened? Oh, you're getting drummed. No, I could have uh, gotten jumpless, but. One of my combos like didn't do damage. <laughs> but basically, so fast. Yeah, basically, if you do enough damage, you can kill him before he jumps. But that's very rare that, on PS4. It, it, it uh, yeah, for some uh, because um for some reason Ventus's finish command just, just doesn't hit the full amount of times on PS4. Yeah, it just it it whiffs a bit of the final hit. I'm gonna try whiffs, something think, new here. I gotta see this, you were telling me about this earlier. Wow, that works. Yeah, that does work. Wow. So do yeah. you have to get three or you have to do it one and then two. Or you have to have two on the one to the right. That's actually really cool. Yeah, I found that earlier <laughs> when I was testing. We didn't think that like that would work. Um, well, because yeah. that didn't because that stopped working on um on PS4. the uh, PS4, and we were like, oh, really? That's like a big time loss for us now. Well, it's like five seconds, but still. Um, that's actually really cool. Um, he's gonna buy uh, six fires and an arrow here. Cool, I get a finish boost and an air combo plus. This is oh, like did you, oh, did you get a potion drop as yeah. well? So like perfect, that's, yeah, that, that's perfect abilities right now. Perfect. Um, <laughs> there's a funny story behind why we get air air air, air combo plus actually. Cage fan got it from a random drop in one run, and it turned out to save too much time to not get it in every run. It's pretty much the reason why. Hmm. Um, yes. See, this is the problem with not having the Aqua upgrade. This is this fight's gonna be slow. Yeah, but you're just gonna have to deal with it. It's not really much that you can. Have you got a drop yet, or no? No, is it still being? I got a shimmering though, so it kind of equals out. Oh, that's fun. Uh, that's that's fine to be honest. I I take the shimmering drop. Oh, and you got a uh, extra little item drop as well. And you got another pulsing drop, so yeah. you can get another finish boost if if needed. Oh, and you got and you got the drop right at the end. Oh wait, no, I didn't. I don't think I grabbed. No, it. you didn't. You reverted. You. Silly man. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Oh god. Um. It's fine. We'll just have to get it. Yeah. Later. We'll have to get it later. Um. On the way back, he's gonna do something similar with Sonic Shadow to um. Fly across the room. Um. This one, it doesn't really matter if like you you mess up the positioning because you've just got to get across the room as fast as you can. So. Yeah. And then this this magic mirror strat actually recently changed. You used to strike raid with like doing a half step forward to stun yeah. him, but now we actually slide and then hit him and then strike raid because it's a lot more consistent. And basically, you want to get critical impact because. Your critical impact multiplier does a lot of damage. Yeah. Um, and with air combo 
and with Air Combo Plus as well, it 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 uh, makes the fight so much faster. Yeah, I missed, but I can kill him with the Sonic Shadow, so it's fine. Still pretty fast. Yeah, that's not bad. So I got that one Shimmering drop, and the reason we yes. want Shimmerings is because we want Fire Boosts. And we need three Shimmering Crystals so that we can get three Fire Boosts and do, like, the most amount of damage. Yeah, you, you need two from a drop, and you can get one from a chest, so... Already having two is better than... Yeah. Puts me in uh, a very good position. One. Yeah. Um... For most runs, I'd rather... I'd rather see two boosts than one boost, because one boost is a nightmare to deal with towards the end of the game. Yeah, the only problem right now is that I didn't get that one aqua drop, because I hit the wrong button, but we can we can make this work. Yeah. Uh, he changes Keyblade to Treasure Trove there, literally just because it has one extra magic point. It's, it's not even for strength, it's just because the magic damage is better. Yeah. And then, Otherwise, your fires do literal no like damage to anything. Yeah. And then I also oh. put air slide on, and then I put the flame salvo on, which is the one, which is what I got We've in got plot now in a uh, dwarf woodlands with the special movement. Yeah, we've got plot now. He goes to Keyblade Graveyard for yeah. obvious plot. Yeah, it's all about the which, story. Yeah, like okay. this is a cutscene percent run. Why'd you skip it? Okay, this fight's gonna be really weird. I've never seen this fight without. Yeah, any I drops. know. I've never done this fight without a drop before. Oh, <laughs> here, oh, here we go. I don't know why I killed that guy. Here we go. This is uh. This is gonna be interesting. That's one less chance to get a drop, man. I know. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, no drop. I feel like the game punishes you for not taking the drops that it gives you. Like, that's kind of just what I feel. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, you still haven't got one. Oh. I know. This is not going to work. Oh, I got that drop. Okay, that's actually fine. Yeah, as long as you get it at some point, it doesn't really matter. Oh, no, that's not good, though. Why, why'd you revert? So I can have a chance to get in the next one, because I need that. Ah, if, I don't, if I don't have that for grinding, then I can't. I don't know how to do that. Well, fair. I, I kind of just need to wait. Yeah. Oh, because you got... Oh, you got magic deflected. Yeah. I got the drop, so this is fine. That was really slow, but everything's kind of fixed. Yeah. Um, what happened and, okay, there I was... I have enough dealing, too, so yeah. Everything kind of equaled um, out. What... Yeah. <laughs> what happened there was when his magnet got eaten is he tried to use it, but at the same time, an enemy hit him with a fire, and Aqua's, I think it's level 1 upgrade, gives... Yeah gives you magic deflector it means you automatically guard any magic attacks so it just eats it yeah and then here i'm just gonna mill two of the fires so i get two fire boosts right now yeah the way catch fan does his menus is actually is actually catch fan goes usually goes for three boosts or no run pretty much yeah pretty much so his so his menus are all based on like getting yeah, basically I set it three, up so that if I have three fi three shimmerings right here, I can melt all three fires. Yeah. You just got to remember oh, I didn't to do put that. your aqua. You just yeah, that's fine. We can do that in a minute, but yeah, pretty much. You're not used to doing it there anyway. Yeah, I can just do this. Yeah, you can just magnet then combo. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, no, my, actually no, Mind Square then do it. Yeah, Mind Square is very powerful. Yeah. Okay. Now we're good. 
Yeah. Um. Usually we change the finisher back to level one in a lot earlier than that. <laughs> a, a lot earlier than that. Yeah. Um. The whole reason why we use level the level one finisher is because a thousand times better than the second one because it just does a massive chunk of damage. Um. Rather than like that weird kind of orb attack that you just saw him do. Um, he's just gonna kill a few enemies in this room for a bit of extra experience. Um, okay, I got that balloon letter, and just for safety, I'm gonna pick up this high potion chest just to make sure I have enough money. Yeah, fair enough. Um, the whole reason why he's doing like killing all these enemies is because um, the EXP route for Terra is also extremely strict as well. Um, because. Because uh, this, because this gate, uh, this category has undergone a lot of. Like we, we, we used to make thunder surges and all this other weird stuff. Yeah. We we also no longer get exp walker. Yeah. So the exp Sweet. route is extremely tight, to be honest. And here you get to see kind of, well, air combo plus in action a little bit, but yeah, that's not what I wanted. Air combo plus makes your combos in Firestorm that's ridiculous. Oh, that hit him. Oh, that's fine. Whatever. Did uh, you whiff a finisher? Yeah, but I usually whiff that one anyway, because it just kind of ends up like that. Yeah, because it kind of tends to auto-target weird parts of him. Unless, like, you wait for him to do this laser attack, but if you wait, he then breaks out of the laser attack. It's really... It's really weird. <laughs> oh, I did a lot of damage. Yeah, because I have two fire boosts and a finish boost. And when you kill the parts, it, the Trinity arm will, will uh, go into an invincible laser attack, and then he'll do this laser in the middle. On beginner, we can literally just attack him and not care about any damage that we take, and then obliterate him with some firestorm. Yeah, that was a good fight. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then he just finishes with Flame Salvo. Yeah, you just want to destroy you're... him with fire. Yeah. You just... Uh, he, like, he just falls to fire. Um... Hey, you look, know, you're going into the... Grinding segment now. Yeah, this is the grinding segment of the run. Yeah, he's gonna do a quick shot menu where he where he uh, picks up um, some magnets and a couple of binding strikes just so just so he can make his uh, commands for for later. I need um, eleven sixty money. So, did you have enough? Uh, we'll see. Um, I have an extra fire. Yeah, just barely. <laughs> okay, we need oh this. god. Yeah, that's see, that's how close my money rod is. And if I didn't pick up extra stuff, I wouldn't have been able to do that. I don't like, I don't need to go in here yet. Uh, afford it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. That then is, uh, go back on. Okay. I don't know why that's not leveled up, but it's fine. And yeah, this I is mean, just. I, I just. Mean, I need. It's not. Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, it's not that bad. You can just level it up in a second, because you all need to put the thunder on in a minute anyway. So, for this grind, he's gonna magnet, step towards the middle cir circle, thunder, finish, revert, and then mind square, mag, nera, then finish. Then he's gonna go up to the other group of enemies that we kill, and he's gonna magnet, thunder, finish, then revert, or magnet, then full combo, depending on where his D-Link meter is. Wait, did I not put thunder on? No, you didn't put thunder on. Th yeah, th I put thunder on earlier. It's fine. Oh, so yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, my menus are fine. <laughs> yes, yeah. just confused me a little bit. Oh yeah, sorry. I need to be level two. Sorry, I'm having a moment because I I don't even know. Um, yeah, we we just do this five times because um, we we require the exp and the cp that we get from it. Um, the whole reason why he waits is because he wants the as much e as much exp as possible, so he needs the birds 
and the birds won't attack you until there's money on the ground or orbs on the ground of some kind. Yeah. So he'll wait until the orbs are on the ground and then they'll come in and then he'll wait for a second. They'll get drawn into the magnet and then he'll finish them right as the magnet ends. Um, yeah, I'm still looking for a shimmering crystal, but... And some fleeting drop because you haven't had had any yet. Yeah, but those are less important. Yeah, you want the shimmerings. Uh, the enemies that can drop shimmerings in this are the blue sea salts, the birds. Uh, the birds have a pretty low chance to drop them. The blue the the blue sea salts aren't that bad. Um, but you kill enough of them where hopefully I'll get one. Hopefully you you yeah. you end up with the drop. If not, then whatever. We'll just deal with it. Uh, this is your third one, is it? Third this or fourth. Is fourth. I, yeah, this is fourth. I, trust me, mate. I always lose count. I have to go this... off a timer whenever I do it. I might just start splitting for all five. Because <laughs> I always forget. And then and then I'm six rooms in going, oh god. Okay, we have one more chance to get a shimmering. Oh, you got two ether drops, though. Yeah. We're set on those ethers, man. So you didn't get one from them. Let's see if you get yeah one from the birds. Nope. Nope. Alright, we're just gonna no. go with this. Maybe I'll get one from just a random melt. We'll see. Maybe. If you do, that'll be hilarious. I got an HP not, boost. Not like... Oh, dude. Oh, yes, dude. I don't even there we go. I got another HP boost. Here, arrow. I don't know. Okay, we're going to do that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the Bagnera HP boost. That's actually not even bad. Yeah, I know. You got a finish boost from Kuro. That's not bad. Yeah, right, yeah. All right, so... The only place we're not having that third fire boost is actually going to lose me time is Terranort, but it actually uses a, like a significant amount of time on the one fight that it affects, so that's yeah. the only issue. Yeah. Um, He's going to do a bit more, and then you do a bit more grinding in the room uh, before break, just because you need the CP for the fire uh, for the fires. It's you got a fleeting CP. though, so that helps. Oh, that's fine. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll take the fleeting. One, like, one... Yeah. Uh, you've you've still got quite a few chances to get more fleetings. Uh, a yeah. Chances to get fleetings. Okay. So you yeah. should be. But so. one attack haste is all right. Mhm. Mm because this is break. There's a lot of RNG in this fight. Because basically you want to do two shot locks and just kill him. But so, like yeah. sometimes he teleports out of like everything, so he doesn't get hit by everything, and then. Yeah, it's um, kind of hard to get a one damage, cycle. Your, your damage in in this fight is like completely random. Yeah, he um, gave me he gave me the fast cycle though, so this is fine. Yeah, so he, uh, so Cage fans just 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 gonna take the DM here because it's just uh, because you just have to. Okay, that's actually a good. Um, fight. Oh, but you didn't get the DM kill. That's my favorite kill. Uh, because when you're blocking back the bullets when he's in the DM, they actually do damage to him, so you so they can kill him. It's like it's like my favorite part of that fight. You you miss one cycle by one hit, and he just dies in the DM. Oh. Is Disney Town next? Yes. Rumble Racing. It's time for Kingdom Carts. So, um, every character has to play a mini game in Disney Town. Um,. Terra's one you can actually lose significant amount of time on. <laughs> so you've actually got to kind of pay attention and play this yeah. well. 
Because if you lose the race, you lose over two minutes. Mm. And it's entirely possible to lose the race. Because the AI is really bad at um, rubber banding. Yeah. They just catch up to you instantaneously. Um, at the end, uh, those tornadoes are there. Um, if you get that first cycle correct with the tornadoes, then nine times out of ten, you can fly past them on it on every single lap. Yeah. But as you can see, he took the <laughs> he took the shortcut and got the corner cut, and they still overtook him. Like, yeah. it's, it's it's silly how much the AI rubber bands in this. Oh, you have to go around. Damn. Yeah. It's not, it's not really slower to go around, like... No, 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 but... If you get hit by it, harder. then... Yeah, yeah, if you get hit by the tornado and someone overtakes you, then... That's it, you're kind of... Yeah, well, not until the last lap. Up. The last lap is where it really matters. Because they stop rubber banding, for the most part. <laughs> yeah. Um, the final lap, yeah, no, the final lap, they don't rubber... They just kind of let you win if, if you're ahead. I love how they just overtake you every time and you're just like, oh, I don't know what this tornado pattern is. It's weird because you got the first one. I know. Oh, you have to avoid the first one, not the second one. Wow. That, that, what, that is happened? weird. That is weird. Yeah, I'm very confused as to what happened. I kind of like flew across the screen. <laughs> what? Oh god, this this yeah. rum, rumble racing is pretty special, dude. Game was just being really weird. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Was this? It wasn't sub two though. It was a two of five, because I had to go around. I had to go around the tornadoes like every it single time. Sub, it wasn't sub two. My bad. My bad. Sub it's sub two or reset, man. Please, it's like getting forty on uh, fruit ball. You just have to do it. You can't not. Yeah, in this this force fight, I'm gonna be using like Magne Magnera and Fire to get Firestorm. And this is one of the fights where we first discovered how much time Air Combo Plus actually does save for Terra. Because I remember when you first had it and you did this fight, you were like, "Oh God!" And you saved quite a bit of time. And yep, he's gonna firestorm fin finisher. Everything should die. That worked out surprisingly well. So that was perfect. <laughs> that was a really good fight. Yeah, I always I always look for that one flood to try to take care of him because sometimes he gets away, and then he goes underground. Yeah. But I caught him. Yeah, that was a that was a really good adaptation there to try and um, stop the flood from doing what it usually does. Um, now we're going to do 10 rounds. Um, the, these are just 10 time fights that um, you have to be under the allotted time. Uh, Magna and Firestorm absolutely destroys these fights, so yep. it's really not an issue. Do uh, you do Flame Salvo for any of these, or do you just not do that anymore? Uh, I only Flame Salvo for the one bruiser. Is it a bruiser? Buckle bruiser. Yeah, buckle bruiser. This guy. Yeah, the... Because yeah. it's just so much faster to do that. Because it's only one enemy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because... Um... Oh, now you have a chance to get a fleeting. Did yeah. uh, you get one? I don't know. I was paying attention. <laughs> oh, I'll look like I usually do for you then. No, you didn't get one. Whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so... Uh, there's actually a specific order that like you want to do things in, so... Um, just to make sure that you have finishes for certain fights and 
you don't like lose time from just unoptimal positioning or not having the fame the finisher when you need it and all this other stuff. Um, the final wave is um, with a bunch of jelly shades. Uh, for some reason, on even on the HD versions, this functions pretty much the same as it did on the PSP version, where it doesn't spawn all the enemies at um, the same. You need to kill them and move around the camera and yeah, other I stuff to, go to, kill to something, like, force them to cause... spawn. One of the fires, for some reason, does not. Really? That's really weird. Yeah, I know. And then, then you got stuck behind the shop. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't level up. That's that's really odd because mm -hmm. you put that on at the same time as the other ones. I got a combo. Oh, I don't want that. What did you get? I got a combo plus. Oh. Yeah, you don't want that. I like how how many automatic abilities have like you got three. How many what? How many like abilities I've got, from melds? I've, gotten, have you I've got? gotten three melds without crystals. It, that's really rare. Yeah, that's 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 really rare. Yeah, so there's two Zack fights. I'm just gonna be spamming flame salvo for both of them. Yeah, uh, the after the second flame salvo on the first one, he's. Just to uh, refill his uh, gauge back up to full. And then this is another place where I lose. I don't lose that much time, but I lose like a slight amount of time because I don't have the third fire boost. Yeah. Um. Any fights where you have to use your your fire based stuff, you lose minute amount of time. Yeah. Because you can still get like somewhat fast fights. See that? See? Uh. Usually, usually with three boosts, you've only got to use one. Fire surge at the end, but he had to use two, so it's it's literally it's just a couple of seconds here and there, but it does add up over the course of the run because it is so short. Um, at the start of Zach two, he auto DMs no matter what you do, so you you want to charge a flame salvo like instantly, or you actually kind of have the potential of dying sometimes because he does a lot of damage to you. Okay, good. So yeah, that's just a whole bunch of flame salvo. Yeah. When you boost don't matter in that fight, dude. Yeah. Like... <laughs> uh, just remember to put the magnet back on when mm -hmm. you do the next menu. Yeah, that's something I gotta remember. Yeah, because... slight menu menus. change. Yeah. Cause it, uh, it used to be you just put Mark of the Hero on and that... And then for some reason we had to fight a bunch of jelly shades. We don't have to kill all of Again. them, but we had to kill most of them. And yeah. for some reason it doesn't give you EXP. Even though it if did this fight gave... Yeah. It did in the original uh Birth by Sleep, the Japanese version, but for some reason they changed yeah. it. Cause apparently it was broken. It is a lot of EXP. <laughs> Dude We wouldn't even have to worry about doing the extra grind grinding in like the grind session. Yeah. Like, I know. You just get it all here. Yeah, you just do a little bit to level up your commands, but you wouldn't have to do go in five times, yeah. Yeah. Okay, this fight's really finicky. It's hard to get everything in the magnets properly. Yeah. Um... Yeah, you, you just magnet fire surge a bit and then flame, and then f uh, firestorm stuff, it's kind of self-explanatory. Oh, your commands are too... Oh, that's... Yeah, that's they're gonna kinda... be... That's annoying that it's like that now. Yeah. Unless, like, we just put it... I don't know. Alright, whatever. That's fine. Oh, uh, you kind of whiff the... Yeah, um... the one guy didn't get sucked up by the magnet, and he just avoided everything. And um, because of him, you kind of whiff the Firestorm finisher as well. Yeah. It's weird. We're, we're going to have to try and think of a way to not have your commands recharge out at the start there. Uh, you could... Mm... Actually, no. With, like, more attack haste, you'd have them 
charge, wouldn't you? Well, the Magneers wouldn't. You could you could Aqua Dean like Magnet and then revert. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that would probably work out a bit better, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, and um, now he's gonna do a. Uh, oh, Enchan you're gonna do enchanted, a yeah, enchanted step. That's faster than using three fire surges because you kind of fly right yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool movement tech. Yeah. Um, it's not even that old either, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This fight, there's a little bit of RNG. You can get a gunless fight. If, you, yeah. if he gives you certain patterns, or a certain pattern, I don't know how many patterns there are that you can actually get it with. Yeah, there's, um, I say there's like, I, 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 I don't want to say a number and be wrong, but there's a fair few that he can give you. Um, what you want is you want a pattern where he sits there I want there him to go takes... to the center, but he went to the guns, yeah. You want him to hit he you want... a bunch of times and then go to the center. Yeah. You... Other than that, there's not really much control in this fight. You just have to deal with it. It loses like 10, 15 seconds depending on um, how quickly you get the guns to go away. And you can get them to go away by either killing them or just waiting. Yeah, and it's a lot faster to kill them because he's in there yeah. for quite a bit of time. Yeah, he's in there for like a good 30 seconds. And that wasn't that bad of a fight for yeah for two boots for or, or a non-gunless, yeah. Yeah. And then, this force fight that's coming up makes no sense to any of us. It's just, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, this fight, um... I, I, I don't understand, but, like, I seem to just get better fights here than Cage Fan does. Yeah. For no reason at all. And, and we do the same, and, and we literally do the same strat. Yeah. I just seem to be better at it. I did not mean to heal. Yeah. Um. You you wanna fire surge as much things as possible in this fight. Um. <laughs> nice heal. Um. And when these guys spawn, you wanna make sure that you hit the um. Wild Bruiser with the um. With the finish uh, with the finish command. Otherwise, um, you lose quite a lot of time. This is actually going really well right now. And oh, that combo plus actually kind of didn't really do you any harm in this fight. Oh, if I could hit him, that would have been probably the best fight I've ever had there. Or close to it. That was very fast. Basically, you yeah. want you, the both of the birds when you spawn, they you want them to be sucked in a magnet and then die yeah. as soon as possible. And then because... die and then die instantaneously. Yeah. Because that can happen because because they can spawn in as like you're doing a, f a fire surge through it, and they'll get hit by the fire surge as as like they're pulled into the magnet. Uh, here's where he's gonna buy the rest of his um fire surges. He's just gonna buy three, and then a few, and then as and then as many mega reefers as possible. It really doesn't matter how many you buy because you should only need to use three. But you but you press the button to buy as many as you can because it's less inputs. Um, Cage Fan is one of the only people that does this, but Cage Fan doesn't put on the second half of Terra's slide, whatever it's called. Um, Sonic Impact. Sonic Impact, that's it. Just because you don't really need it. The only place where it saves a little bit of time is literally here, where he just fire surged to break down that wall. Other than that, it doesn't really save any time at all. I oh, don't you love it when you guard because you're trying to slide? Oh, um, I don't know why this guy isn't getting hit. Okay. He needs to get um. He needs to have about under 230 XP before he moves. Sorry, 330 before he moves into the. Yeah, um, 330 was four off. If I would have had to kill that last guy. Yeah. I I don't know why I said 230, but no, it's 330. It's sorry. 330, yeah. Um. It's. That guarantees level twenty uh, in in the jelly shade fight at on um, the end of this world. Yeah, because you need level twenty for Ericus, or your damage will be very very low. 
even you, with you even with level, two, even with two fire even boosts. With three. Even yeah. with three, even with three, it's extremely low. Because that's how much your your arm strength stat matters yeah. in in this game. This is another fight affected by the fire boost because usually it takes two, like two flame zavos, and he dies before the third one's like the second one is fully over. But I actually yeah. have to hit him again with the fire surge, just because my damage yeah. is slightly lower than it optimally should be. I love how he just drops down in front of you. <laughs> You never get to see that unless, like, you do unless you have like, two no boosts. reset rounds yeah. or like one boost. He, he he just falls in front of you because he just gets knocked out mm -hmm. out of the air. Okay, and right, here, so, yeah. the, so yeah. the uh, so the jelly shade fight. He's going to be entering and reverting Aqua's D link and magneting. That's pretty much it, and the fight will just end at some point. I don't know how many you've got to kill to actually. End the fight correctly. Yeah. You just know there's a bunch of them that you have to kill. But it'll end right after I get level 20, because that's how our EXP is set up. Yeah. It should end with this magnet. Yeah, okay. You get so much EXP in this fight, dude. Yeah. That's that's why the if the jelly shades before Deep Space gave you EXP, it'd be broken. Yeah. Because we'd get, we'd probably, you probably be able to, we'd probably like get to level twenty three or something for the next strength increase or something. Probably that would be interesting. That would make Terranor a lot better. Yeah. Hmm. It sucks. That's for when no one wants to run Cage, uh, BBS J. Just because BBS J is just no, don't. No, don't, don't, don't do it. Just, just no. BBS J is just a no. Don't do that to me game. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of things about it that just aren't good like things that they changed in like the english version this version that made it the game a lot better yeah but they also took out things that made it made it worse. yeah yeah okay there's only four fights um, left in the game actually yeah ericus there's an extremely high chance that cage fan might die yeah die it yeah it could happen because i only have, i only have one attack case which screws this fight up yeah and if K Tran and K Tran plays like I do in this fight, where yeah. you just don't care, where you just don't care, like if you die, you die. That's it. That's like PB dead or whatever. But um, you just want to keep fire surging into him. You can either just go straight for the fire surges, or you can do a slight dark impulse combo right at the start. Um, he's going to use the finisher. We don't usually use the, but the finisher helps waste time for your fire surges to recharge. Other than that, yeah, he's just gonna keep going in. You can do a combo. Yeah, you're gonna try it. Yeah, you're gonna do a. Um, Ericus all likes to just retaliate whenever, when, yeah. whenever he feels like it. Oh, he's gonna DM you. Yeah, yeah I fine. did. Th I did that for safety. Yeah. Okay. Oh just my god, I could have, I could have died right there, but. Oh, did you do the thing a bit too early? I kind of just fire surged him as soon as he ended that. He, DM he, DM he DM'd immediately. That could have been that very was... bad. Yeah. Um. Generally, we go for DMless fights because um, stun locking him is faster than letting him walk around because he'll only DM when he kind of is in the middle of of the arena. Um. So that's why when KH Fran saw he was walking, he just let him go because it because it was safer than. Yeah, because if, if you see him walking to the middle, walk. he's gonna DM because that's just what he does. Yeah, it's 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 just one of those like weird things where like he needs the space to do it for some reason. Yeah, so if you keep him to the outside of the arena, he won't DM. But then as soon as he walks to the middle, he will instantly DM. Yep, he chucks on Chaos Ripper and and Mega Ethers. Chaos Ripper is literally used in two fights. Yeah, and then they take it away from you for the last fight. And, and then they take it away from you. Yeah, because the Which last fight the would be broken <laughs> with it. Oh, it would be so much better. It'd be so, it, it would make the last fight not the worst fight, like, ever. Yeah, it'll make, it, it would make Terranaut, like, yeah. not the worst fight in the world. Because me having two fire boosts would literally not even matter. Yeah. Like, one, like, having one boost would be like having... Two boosts and yeah. having three boosts would be just, oh my god he broken. dies in like two hits yeah pretty much uh but no 
for, for, for story reasons, you, you get given ends of the earth. Um, he's he's gonna try and flame Salvo, Vinitas. He 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 looks to the ground, cause you don't want any hits like touching Xehanort. Um. Okay, I killed him. That's good. Yeah. Um, on the PS4 version, actually, um, they changed this fight. So where you have to kill him fully, that wasn't even bad to be honest. Yeah. Like that was actually worse. pretty good. Yeah. And then Zaynor. Zaynor doesn't really do anything. I just kind of kill him. Yeah. Unless he does this, this that's like the worst thing you can do. Uh, did uh, did he keyblade bike or whatever it is? No, he he, he, pil he pillared me. Oh, he pillared. Yeah, pillaring's pretty much. Oh, you got him quickly. That's fine. Um, yeah, chaos ripper dam damage is absolutely ridiculous here. Yeah. Um, and then watch blade charge damage. <laughs> blade charge. Just melts through his health. And then we have one one fight left. And this is the fight that is completely screwed up because I only have two fire beasts. My damage just completely falls off. Yeah. Um, your damage, like, is so reliant on fire boosts here. Um, a fight that I, I guess I should talk about but we can't get is called Cureless. Because this guy can cure. He, can, he cures when he gets down into second phase. Um, and then... He, he can cure a, a, an, an unknown number of times. He generally cures about... If you got one boost, I've, the most I've seen is six, which is really bad. You you would lose like two minutes trying to kill him. Um, this is actually really good damage for the first three fire boosts. Yeah. Um, I'll be honest. Um, I know when second phase starts. I know when it starts too, but... But I don't know the HP gate off the top of my head. It, he's in second phase now, I can tell you that. Yeah, yeah, he is. He just healed. Yeah. There's the yeah. heal. The infamous heal. Yeah, and Doc Hiraga actually legit heals him by quite a lot. Uh, he's healed once, so he shouldn't heal after he DMs, which is a lot better. Than healing... Like when are oh, you got an eleven? You're yeah. Just gonna have to... But I got that. I got that off just in time. So oh, you did. I'm saved. Oh. Hopefully, I can get this off. Yeah, hopefully. I got that. Okay. Um, this is fine. Nice. Um. Here we go. Oh yeah, she got that one off as well. He just, he I just like he you. just triple healed, dude. Did he? Yeah. Or it was it was at least a double heal, but I don't know. Oh, that was a double heal. So that's three. Yeah, he shouldn't cure again because you shouldn't. He shouldn't cure again because you should kill him before he does it. But yeah, but it, I don't know. Can do it again. If if he does, we haven't got any more mega mega reefers left, so you just have to fire surge him. Oh my god! Oh my god! This guy does not want me alive. Okay, I can get with this. Okay, time. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. Oh god, the god. It's fine. It was like a 5206 or something. Yes. That's not bad. For a 2 5 boost, that's fine. I can tell you. It was, it was like a 5205, so. Yeah. yeah. That's not bad for 2 boosts. That's, um, yeah, that's... That wasn't even that bad of a ter uh, of a of a Terranaut fight for two boosts, and he healed yeah. three times, so. Mm -hmm. Healing three times loses about 30 to 40. About 30 to 40 over, like, a, just a regular fight.